Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Spirit Terror, where we last left off, we got this bird, and he's already complaining. How drab. Mm. Stella, the boat looks delightful, but this prow, what a waste of space. Really, you should consider brightening up with a figurehead. Huh? I'm sure any decent shipwright could help you with that. Huh? Now, where to start? Oh, he's asking more. Uh -huh. Before we start working on the exhibition proper, some preparations are required. Namely, making sure we have access to proper installations. Now bear with me, is the boat equipped with some sort of word working facility, such as a sawmill? Yes, we have that. It would have numerous structural applications. Uh -huh. Yes, how convenient. A loom would also allow us to make clothing and canvas. We have that too. Is there one on board? Uh -huh. Fantastic. A foundry with metal working tools also has a number of applications. We have that too. Is there anything that could fit the bill? Uh -huh. There is? A fully functioning foundry? Why are you drooling? <laughs> You've got quite a well-furnished ship, Stella. Uh -huh. And finally, the cornerstone of my curator's work, a mailbox. Correspondence with my fellow academics and collectors is essential to my work here. Uh -huh. You've built a mailbox already? Fantastic! Well, it seems a couple of items are left unchecked. I'll let you get to it. What? What items? I got everything. I have everything. Uh, oh, yeah, we need the figurehead. Okay. Okay, I want to upgrade our blueprint table and the figurehead. So, what was the figurehead? Oh, yeah, upgrade the boat with a figurehead. How do we get a figurehead? Do we. Imp is that an improve? Wait. Is that here somewhere? Um. I don't see it. Alright, well, I'll figure it out. And in the meantime, I want us to check out some of these side quests. We have to go to the- we have to do that movie thing and talk to the person at the shed at the manor where Gwen was. And also- oh, what did she want? Oh, she needs some gemstones. Oh yeah, we should give her those. And we need to go to Bottomline Corp. First, let's give her the gemstones. Okay, uh, give her... She wanted gems, and we have enough. Uh, here, you can have an opal. Oh, an opal! A burning stone of passion and love. The stone of seduction, which resonates with burning desires and releases inhibition. But stabilizes emotions as well. In rather context, opal also brings about loyalty and faithfulness. Okay, and then let's give her amethyst. And then a garnet. I'm kidding. Um, citrine. Oh, is that a piece of citrine? Did you know that citrine promoted motivation and activated creativity? I've also heard that it encourages self-expression and enhances concentration. A true mind revitalizer and emotion balancing stone. Okay, and then what about amethyst? An amethyst! What a treat! An amethyst or healing stones, you know. Ailments, emotional issues, nightmares, and other afflictions can be cured with the power of amethyst. They're great to balance with chakras as well. Specifically, the crown chakra. Right. Oh, we did it! Stella! And with that last gem, my basic medicine cabinet is complete. And since my meditation room is already furnished with a nice little altar, you can come by and admire it at any time. In any case, I am truly grateful for all your help. You are always, after all, a radiating presence. A beacon of light. Stella, I hadn't planned on it, but I think I have something more important to teach you. By our next class, well, we'll have to leave the boat for it. I've heard of a nice spot in Mount Toriyama, over a on a cliff overlooking the horizon. I think it would make for a nice classroom. I'm ready when you are, just set sail. Hmm, we'll do that in just a second. Oh, you can see all the little things up there. Okay. We'll do that in a second. I want to gets I want to go to Albert and buy the stuff and see if we can get a figurehead from him. When I was healed, I didn't want to go back to my old life. To the ways of poison and hatred. Rose had reminded me of my youthful love. Unintentionally, she had unveiled my eyes. I sold everything I owned. Took every dirty penny I had ever earned. I bought a plot of remote land and started anew. I listened to the hidden songs of nature. When you listen, Stella, really listen. 
The plants tell you all sorts of things. What they like, what they need, who they love. Some called it biodynamic farming. I called it listening to the universal chant. I carved this little nest in the middle of the woods, and when it finally responded, when the flowers and the trees and the birds started flourishing, stronger than they ever could with the touch of poison, on the day of the solstice when the hill was emerald green, well, that's when I asked her to marry me. Aww, that was so sweet. Aww, <laughs> I love that. It's always nice to stop and talk to them. They always have something nice to say. It's fun to learn more about them and hear their stories. What's your next joke? You've got a beautiful orchard full of apples. Do you know what lives and reads inside, don't you? Bookworms. <laughs> As usual, hilarious. Okay. Oh yeah, this adds a figurehead. And that, we have enough. Get that. Okay, now we need more wool to get that. So give me a hot second. I'll go get more wool fabric. Okay. Boom! Okay, now we have a chicken coop, a lounge, and a crusher. I do not know what a crusher is, but I guess we'll find out. Okay. Oh, what's up? What's up, my bird man? Now for the real work. Now that our preparatory work is fully complete, I think it is time to start working on some proper infrastructure. Ideally, a project of this breadth would require a dedicated space to project the more fragile pieces of the elements. But it also requires an office desk from which the curator can work comfortably. As well as a waiting area, a front desk, some storage, maybe even a gift shop, though we might manage without one. What? A bit much? On the contrary, Stella, I assure you that all these are perfectly necessary. Luckily, as a rational man, I realized that space might be an issue. That's why I have thought of a multi-purpose area that would do wonderfully. Let's get to it then. Grab a pencil and listen carefully. A gallery is a paradoxal space for it both houses and works of art is done. Architecture is, after all, the first expression of humanity's mastery over nature. Uh -huh. As such, I like- oh god. Oh, he's still talking! And that is one of the many ways of the Bothia School of Chicago integrated a troops in architecture in its ideas. Stella looks so done. Alright, have you got all that written down? I don't mind going over the finer points of the lecture again. No, please! <laughs> <Do> you... No! <laughs> okay, <laughs> I almost pressed it. Jesus, man. Ooh. Okay, a lounge. We need ash plank and zinc ingot. For Gustav's gallery, we need cotton thread, marble, and oak planks. Cotton. And then... Crusher, obliterate some rocks in the dust, pulsar ingot, ingot, ash plank, zinc ingot, chicken coop, ash plank, wool fabric, copper ingot. Okay. Well, let's go to sleep and then we'll worry about that in the morning. Okay, first things first, I want to check out what's over here. Bottom line corp. I think we got a letter about that a long time ago. But first, we're going to go to the crates and then we'll make our way there afterwards. Oh, this place looks dreary. <laughs> <coughs> it's so dreary, I'm dying. Oh, oh. It's you again. We can't buy here, but we can sell here. Let's talk. An excellent salesperson always carries what the customer needs. So, my well-off patron, what can I do you for? You, you don't have anything. All right, whatever. Oh, what's going on here? Oh! Mm -hmm. The time has come, my friends! Let's trample the thorns of inequity! Let's burn the tangling ropes of low-wage employment! Mm -hmm. Let's tear down the global walls of the upper class! The c your conditions here have been appalling! It's time for you to revolt! Mm -hmm. Let's show this capitalist pig that your work... It's your work that creates wealth and value! Your work that makes him a prophet! And he is the one living off your backs! <laughs> Break his knees? Mm -hmm. Do not despair, my friends. Together, we can reverse this unjust stream of enrichment. Together, we can finally give the power back to the working class. Mm -hmm. The power you deserve and the wealth you should benefit from. Time to claim what is rightfully yours, my friends. <laughs> Let's find his wallet. Mm -hmm. Oh, another spirit. 
Oh, what are you? Oh! Mm -hmm. Hello there! You've come to join our protest? Yes! Mm -hmm. Good, come on in! I even have a little something to ask you since you just arrived. You'll find up there the CEO of this company. He's fled to his office and won't come out. Mm -hmm. Coward. See, if you can convince him to face his employees and have an honest dialogue with them, we won't budge before our conditions have improved. Alright, we're gonna go find the CEO. Good thing we got Glide. Oh, what's this? Uh, oh, I don't know if we can. Look at the fuse box, Stella. The glass is all busted up. That's not up to code. If I was their union leader, believe you me. I'd make that greedy boss eat his own shoes. You should be his union leader. Alright, can we not do this right now? Oh, okay. Who's this? Hello. Dude, I can't wait for our next game. My friend Buck has been preparing a new game for us. I'm sure he'll tell us soon. I hope Buck does. Oh, is that the boss? Go away! Oh. Talk! What do you want? Get away from here! I have done nothing wrong. I am the one being threatened. As if three fewer days of vacation a year was a big problem for them? I mean, they should have thought twice before starting a family, right? Jesus, man! I'm not responsible for their poor life choices, nor for the lack of higher qualifications. They should be happy I've not delocalized the production. What will I have to do next? Pay them a medical insurance, too? Why would I pay them if they don't work? Doesn't make a difference if they have a broken arm or whooping cough. They still don't work when they're not here. Okay. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to find a way to get through. Talk to the protest leader. Okay. Oh, I could have made it. What? Mm -hmm. We won't move. Not without having negotiated. Okay. Talk. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, man. They just want to negotiate, you say? Look, it's getting hot in here. And I'm getting hungry, too. Oh. Okay, you can tell them I'll reverse my decision on the vacations. I'll wait for you here. I don't know if they're going to be satisfied with that. Oh. Nice. Oh, thank goodness we unlocked this. Thank goodness for Glide. So? Mm -hmm. Nope, not enough. Plus 20% increase in wages and full compensation for medical expenses. As well as not an as another week of vacation and 5% on capital gains. Oh, I like your style. What do you say? Oh. But, but... Damn, I've really got to pee. Okay, okay. Oh. Whatever they want. Tell them they'll get whatever they want. But they have to stop calling me Mr. Moneybags, got oh. it? Okay, go now. I have to find the key to the store. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> oh. Mr. Moneybags is done. What did he say? Mm -hmm. He agreed to everything you said. Wonderful. You're the one hell of a negotiator, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. I like you already. Look, my work is done here, thanks to you. I probably could embark with you on this fancy boat of yours. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to rest my old bones in a cozy home and have you by my side, Munchkin. See you there. Oh, cool, we got a new person. Okay. What do you mean? Took you long enough? Oh. A lion? Oh! Mm -hmm. Woof! That felt funny. You'd think I'd seen everything at my age. Mm -hmm. Not sure I liked it, though. But it sure beats being an impersonal hooded blob. Those capes are really scratchy. Mm -hmm. Ha! Feels good to breathe the fresh air. Mm -hmm. Time for me to stretch my legs for a bit. Hmm, I'm hungry as well. You know what? Mm -hmm. Would you be a deer and fix me up a little meal? 
That would be marvelous. Thank you, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can leave now. I've got you a meal. Oh, you are starving. Jeez. Here, let's give you a big meal. What have we got that's big? Well, we've got southern boil. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a bit overcooked, isn't it? And kind of bland? Mm -hmm. Bah, never mind. That will do. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Munchkin. You're a sweetheart. I've been out of the loop on that island. You tend to lose track when you fight for workers' rights. Mm -hmm. You could catch up on the latest gossip, don't you think? Oh, but don't get me wrong. I don't really like gossip. But we need to stay informed. Mm -hmm. In case important things happen. And I know just the right person. An old friend of mine has been roaming the mm -hmm. seas. She could probably tell us what's been going on. Are you on game for a little adventure? Well, it's not like you have a choice. Mm -hmm. She should be around. She's gained a bit of weight recently, but don't tell her that. She's always making a scene when someone mentions her appearance. Mm -hmm. Let's go meet her. Hurry up now. Three si Oh, oh, oh. Four paws, huh? Are you like a lion, or...? Oh. What in the world is that thing right there? Olga. Oh, that's probably her sea friend. South Point Docks. Oh, but there's something right here. Hmm, I don't know if we can go there, but maybe we could go to Olga. Hello! Oh, my goodness, you're very pretty. Mm -hmm. She's here. Mm -hmm. Ah, there we are. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to see her, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. She's always been a kind person, and we go way back, me and her. But I've got to tell you, last time we saw each other, things didn't go that well. Mm -hmm. She might still hold a bit of a grudge against me. It's not my fault I say things as they are. Mm -hmm. You don't always make friends by being honest. Mm -hmm. And you might even lose a few. But we're old now. So can you ascend through the bridge, as they say? Mm -hmm. Follow my lead? Yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. Olga, you haven't changed a bit, old friend. Still so green. Mm -hmm. Astrid, my dear old Astrid, I'm glad to see you. Mm -hmm. And glad to see that you're out of your old shell. Would you happen to owe this charming young lady here? You are the new spirit fairer, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Albert was telling everyone that Sharon had been replaced. Stella, isn't it? When I think he borrowed my hairbrush and never gave it back. Oh well. I hope this new job of yours doesn't weigh too heavily on your frail shoulders. You can count on me to give you a hand, my little lady. So tell me, Astrid, what brings you here? Mm -hmm. As you said, I'm back in the world. The first thing I wanted to do was pay you a little visit. You know to catch up on things. Mm -hmm. How are you and your sisters doing? Oh, you know, Inra is still focusing on her studies, and Masha has picked up a new hobby. Knitting! She says it keeps her stress levels low. Not that she's ever done anything really stressful, mind you, but she crafts nice little mitts for the winter. You should pay them a visit as well. Oh, and Astrid. Yes? You won't believe what I heard the other day. What? Miss Shrewsbury is pregnant. Again. What? I can't believe it. Yes. And you know what? Bob is not the father. No. <laughs> this really is just old lady gossip. You're kidding me! In incredible! Oh well, she always knew how to lure them boys. And speaking of boys, I heard Giovanni is back. And from a reliable source at that, Gio... Giovanni is back? Who told you that? Where? When? Well, if you're interested, I can go dig deeper. But are you? Interested? Yes! Huh? No! No! I don't care what he does. I don't want to know. He can frolic all he wants. As you wish. But you know what? I'll go check my sources and I'll write back to you. Just in case. Now that you're traveling in a good company, I'll know where to find you. Mm -hmm. Sure, okay. But no rush. I'm happy Stella found me and I want to spend time with her and her crew mm -hmm. for now. Olga dear, can you could you show her what you can do? I'm certain your help will greatly be appreciated. Mm -hmm. But of course! And on with the main attraction. Come here, little lady. My, I'm a very old being, but I'm not very wise. Yes, a bit like Astrid. But there are some things I can do. My specialty is patience. And spinach puffs. But we won't talk about that right now. If you look carefully, there are three receptacles on my back. You plant logs, ores, or rocks in them. And then you wait. You wait for me to come back to the surface. And when I'm back, the rocks or logs you use will have become a tree or a mining rock. Isn't that nice? I can't tell you what my secret is, but you'll have to know one thing. It's normal if they smell like strawberries, okay? Alright, hop on my back, little lady. Oh, cool! Thank you! Okay. Rock. Okay. Let's 
Okay, quartz, slate, coal, limestone. We don't have iron because I just used it. Um, we'll plant a maple log. Can we put in more than one? Oh, we can only put in one. So we'll also put in an oak log. And then... I don't have iron. But, um... Oh, we need the crusher to get silica. Okay. Carbon powder. Lime powder. Okay, so we'll add that. There we go. That's so cool. Let me just land really quick. Stella. Are you done? Yes. Wonderful. I'll go back underwater for some time. Do not worry. I will reemerge as soon as what you've planted can be fully harvested. In the meantime, take care of yourselves and your passengers, Stella. Bye now. See you soon. Oh, goodbye! Mm -hmm. I'm happy you found me, Munchkin, and I'm happy we've been able to help these poor souls in the factory. The workers deserve better, and the ruling class will never change. Mm -hmm. Bunch of swines they mm -hmm. are. They are the same as us, you know. They just pretend to be superior, only because their wallets are full and their houses are big. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know that not all rich people deserve to die, but I've never accepted how the workers were treated. Exploited, mm -hmm. diminished, just because of their birth. It's unfair and unjust. Mm -hmm and I will fight for them until my last dying breath. I like you. What a bust. Oh. Mm -hmm. She had a lot to say, did she? Running her mouth like that. She's always been chatty, this one, but I don't mm -hmm. judge. Kind of sounds like you are. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but her eyes are a bit scary. Soothing and kind, for sure, but scary. Mm -hmm. I think she should talk to someone about this, but enough about her. Mm -hmm. That's a Thanks a lot for having brought me to her, Munchkin. It's really mm -hmm. appreciated. There's always so much going on, I can't get enough of it. Also... What she said about G that Giovanni character. Mm -hmm. Well, mm, you know what? Never mind. We'll have ample time to talk about this later. I don't want to bore you with this now. Mm -hmm. See you later, Stella. Wait, give me a hug. I want to hug you. Hug. Mm -hmm. Aww. Would you look mm -hmm. at that? That's what I call a foundry. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that heat, Munchkin? Do you smell these fragrances and molten metals and heavy machinery? This is where the magic happens. Mm -hmm. We are going to make some beautiful things here. Let's go inside so I can explain how this works. Oh? I've, I've already... I know how to use it. That's it. I've told you all you needed to know. Have at it. I mean... Oh, she gave me copper. Cool. <laughs> I mean, thanks for already explaining what I already knew, but... <laughs> Alright. Now, let's go to Mount Toriyama. We're here! What a nice, quaint place. And the view, well, it can't be beaten, can it? Yes, this will be perfect. I'll see a little... I see a little promontory up that cliff over there. Just go up ahead. I'll meet you there. How will I do it? Ha! Don't worry. I'm sure I'll manage to snake my way up. I get it. I get it. There she is. Ha! I haven't left my touch, have I? I might be old, but I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. And beating younglings in a climbing race has always been a specialty of mine. But enough of this. Let's focus on the matter at hand. This lesson, as you might have guessed, will be a little bit special. Up to now, we have focused on the proper care of plants and crops. Well now, I think it's time to concentrate on the proper care of one's mind. Sunlight and music were the tools of the former. Well, for the latter, our tools will be the act of meditating. And that's specifically why I brought you here. See this boulder? It hasn't been concent concentrated for nothing. Powerful spiritual energies flow through this area. I know, I know, it might seem strange. A cult, even. But just humor me. First things first, sit down next to me. Just like this. Alright, your turn. How do I do that? Oh. Meditation, Stella, is an affair of wholesomeness. Oh, even the cat's doing it! Of wholesomeness and of oneness. A lot of novices believe, wrongfully, that meditating is the pursuit of an empty mind. But the mind is not empty, Stella. It is a beast, savage and untamed. Violent and, violent and caring, loving and destructive, hateful, curious, scared, a ball of frayed nerves, much like the dragon, it cannot be controlled. It must be allowed to roam free. My father also lived with this tormented creature, of a different kind, perhaps. He chose to fight it tried to muscle it down into submission, to mark it under the auspice of violence, and mostly to silence it. 
He thought that nothingness was the solution. But the dragon is indomitable. The fight left my father a broken man. Let your mind wander, Stella. Gently, like you would a scared kitten. Let it smell the grass. Let it notice the wind flowing through your hair. The heat radiating from the stone behind you. The rhythmic breaking of the waves below. Let your spirit penetrate all things, not to make them yours, but to make yourself theirs. Be one and be whole. But keep being. Aw, that was very relaxing. I felt tempted to close my eyes sometimes. Seems like my lesson had quite the influence. You were up there for hours. I had to stretch my legs at some point. Oh, what are you saying? A vision? Of course! You're the spirit fairer after all. The mystical energies of this world are bound to affect you in mysterious ways. I'm sure there are other such areas of power. If you find them, be sure to take the time to meditate. Perhaps more visions will rain down upon your mind. You know, Stella, while you were up there, I tried to do some thinking. I wanted to prepare for our next lesson. There's still so much to teach, but I couldn't think. My mind was uneasy. For you see, I too have had a vision. A gift from the universe. It's the dragon, Stella. I have felt him creeping slowly towards me. I thought I had some grand purpose to accomplish before he would swallow me whole. But now I realize that the dragon hasn't crept much at all. He has kept up with me for quite a while now. And ignoring it won't do me any good. Well, let's go, shall we? Yes, let's go. Oh, we got mail. Furogawa Tours. A letter from Olga. Let's see. A letter from Albert. We're running a special promotion. An air draft device. Oh, okay. A letter from Olga. Astrid, while the two of us caught up on the latest gossip, I forgot to give you something. I found this while flipping the magazines and it made me think of you. It definitely fix fits your style and panache. Also, I heard a rumor your husband could be in Iwashima countryside. Might be worth checking out. I'll keep asking around, just in case. Oh. Is... Is there a spirit that's her husband? Is Giovanni her husband? For Regara Tours. I think I want to take us to Furogawa and Iwashima countryside. Oh. Yeah. Because apparently... Her BF might be there, or her husband. A fabulous garden. I prepared the garden for Rose. I wanted to give her a nook of paradise. A home filled with so much love she would be overwhelmed by it. I was wrong. Incredibly so. When she came to live with me, the garden's yield grew tenfold. It was a sight to behold. She had never had any formal training, and yet she could always tell which branch was sick and required cutting, or which plant needed fertilizer or what crop was about to bloom. I have seen her wake up in the middle of the night to cover some delicate flowers. Next morning, a surprise frost would have hit in the region. She didn't need knowledge. She didn't need my crude tools, chakras, gems, chants. No, she was an open gateway to the universe, an ethereal force. When the dragon came for its final visit, I was not scared anymore. Aww. What is it, Munchkin? A letter, you say? From Olga? Mm -hmm. This is so nice of her. Mm -hmm. Olga had news about Giovanni's whereabouts. Iwashima countryside, you say? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. We should probably go take a look. Mm -hmm. And what? An inspiration for a house? For me? Mm -hmm. How thoughtful. Can't deny it, Olga knows me so well. Yes, indeed, I would be very happy to have a nice den to live mm -hmm. in. And it's always pleasant to know someone is thinking about you. I mean... You could have thought about this yourself, of course. <laughs> but don't worry, I know you're very busy, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. Being the spirit fairer and all. It's okay, I won't begrudge you. And I know you. You'll build this nice cabin aboard as soon as you can. <laughs> you're so resourceful, after all. Thanks a lot, Stella. I can't wait. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're here. Let's see if he's around. I, I think I know where he is, actually. I just couldn't reach him before. But I think I have the glider now, so I'll be able to. All right, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. Olga said in her letter that Giovanni could have been around. Knowing him as I do, I have my doubts. He wouldn't linger in a place like this. Mm -hmm. But who knows? 
Maybe if you ask around, we might find a clue or two. I'll leave you to it. I don't want to go too mm -hmm. far. The humidity here is killing me. Go, go. I trust you will find interesting stuff. Okie dokie. Oh. Who? I don't remember his name. That knight did call for names, if you know what I mean. Oh. I do remember his legs, though. Oh, brother. Oh. Wait! He has a wife? He didn't say anything about oh. it. He did say he was going to Furogawa. Well, if you ever meet up with him, tell him... Oh. Tell him that Aline misses him. Oh. I could do this all day. Okay. Uh, bummer. Mm -hmm. He was here, you say? And he met someone? No. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. Okay, maybe I do. But just a tiny bit. Only where he went. Mm -hmm. Furugawa, you say? I think I know where that is. I've heard it's a lovely place. Mm -hmm. Well, at least that's what the brochures said. Mm -hmm. I've always loved these colorful flyers. They make you travel without leaving your seat. Mm -hmm. Alright, Munchkin, let's check this out. Let's do it. Getting cold all of a sudden. I think I might just be growing a bit tired. Maybe I'm not rested enough yet? I'll just take a little me time and then we can continue our lesson. I'm excited about the next steps. You're making some fantastic progress, honeybee. Don't give up. Okay, she wants some me time. We actually do have the stuff we need to build Astrid's bungalow. So she gets her house sooner than freaking Gustav, but he can wait because he's he's got he's picky. Astrid's bungalow. Perfect, mm -hmm. Stella. You've got to be kidding me. This house is just fantastic. Mm -hmm. You know I love simple things, simple things that make me feel good and warm inside. What can I say? I just don't like it when it's too complicated or luxurious. Mm -hmm. I just don't. That's who I am. I always have been like that as far as I remember. When I was young, many of my friends were pretty rich and famous. Mm -hmm. You know, artists, philosophers, sports athletes. I've always attracted the finest people, what can I say? But it didn't mean a thing back then, and it still doesn't up to this day. Mm -hmm. That's probably why I ended up marrying Giovanni. He was so simple, yet so elegant. So genuine, but also fun and unpretentious. Mm -hmm. And he didn't have a dime to his name. Still doesn't, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got to admit, I think I miss him. Mm. I know I shouldn't. I know he's a worthless riffraff. Mm -hmm. I know he probably doesn't give a shit about me now, but... But I just can't forget about him. Mm -hmm. Hey, Munchkin, do you think you could check the mail? Maybe Olga has written us about him, as she said she should. Mm -hmm. I would be grateful if you mm -hmm. did. Thanks a lot, Stella. Mm -hmm. I won't forget this. Actually, we just got to Furogawa, so... Oh, I love her house! It's so pretty! There we go. Now we've got the airdrop, too. Alright. Mm -hmm. We're here. Let's go down. Yep, let's do it. Let's look around. Mm hmm, that's funny. Is that his cologne I can smell? This peculiar mis mix of musk and nonchalance. Mm -hmm. He must have been here recently. Quick, Munchkin, let's ask around. Yes, let's do it. Mm. Welcome to the world-renowned Furugawa Tours. The tour will begin shortly. It takes about five minutes and covers the rich history of the city. Mm. After you'll have so many anecdotes about this place, you'll be the life of the party, if you ever attend one. Ready? Uh... Sure. Mm. Perfect. Let's start right away. I'm waiting. Mm. Giovanni! That name. Don't say that name. He almost broke my marriage. Mm. Come, came here a month ago. Big man. Thinking he's the boss. Mm. Good thing my wife came to her senses. He apparently didn't like the weather. Good riddance. Mm. Oh, he's gone. Oh, hang on, I have to do a tour. Mm. I'm coming! I'm chasing you! ...in my teaching aptitudes. Nice. Alright, let's... Oh, what is wrong with her? Are you okay? Are you alright? Mm. Alright. <laughs> okay, she calmed down. What a bust. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Stella. I... Oh, damn it. Mm -hmm. Enough is enough. I'm done wasting my time. I won't be looking for that hoodlum anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't need him to be happy. I don't need to hear his stupid jokes or incessant yammering. I don't need to be suffocated by his floral cologne. Mm -hmm. I don't need to have him constantly showering me with praise. I don't need to see his flamboyant mane. I don't... Mm -hmm. I... Let's go back to the boat, Munchkin. Alright. Sounds like you do want him, but... You know, who am I to judge? Oh. A letter from Olga. Another one. Astrid, big news. I'm... You'll be glad to know that my sources have finally panned out. I heard my sister, Masha, might know something about your husband's whereabouts. You should go and drop in on her. Olga. Money. 
Alright, well, I think we're going to end it here for today. We did a lot, and we got Astrid, we hung out with Summer, who is still sleeping, and we will search more for Giovanni and the Olga sister next time. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Remember to take care of yourselves, and I will see you next time.